This is the Scoop for Thursday. I'm Lisa Marzilli with the WMNF News Headlines. St. Petersburg city leaders have crucial votes scheduled for this afternoon on funding the possible future home for the Rays and whether to repair their current home. Council members will vote on finalizing their own bonds to pay for the city's share of the stadium and construction, as well as for infrastructure in the surrounding historic gas plant district redevelopment. Council members Lisette Hanowitz, John Muhammad, and Richie Floyd were the three dissenting votes for the project in July. In a separate vote today, the council will vote on whether to approve tens of millions of dollars in spending on repairs to Tropicana Field, which was damaged by Hurricane Milton. Estimates put the repair costs upwards of $56 million. Mayor Ken Welch says the majority of it will likely be paid for by insurance and FEMA reimbursements. And a new report from Redfin shows that the five U.S. metro areas where pending home sales are falling most are all in Florida. An especially devastating hurricane season, along with a surge in home insurance costs and HOA fees fueled by intensifying climate risk, are partly to blame. The steepest decline in pending sales was a 15.2% drop in Fort Lauderdale. Next was Miami at minus 14%, followed by West Palm Beach at minus 13.8%. Jacksonville was down 9.5% and Tampa's pending sales declined by 7.2%. Meanwhile, Redfin reports that nationwide pending sales rose by almost 5% over the same period. Following a law signed last year by Governor Ron DeSantis, Florida universities are cutting ties with countries of concern that they do business with. WMNF's Chris Young reports information presented at a state university system Board of Governors meeting shows four universities, including the University of South Florida, still have ties. A 2023 Florida law heavily restricts how universities interact with countries China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, Cuba, Venezuela, and Syria. Dr. David Norton, vice president for research at the University of Florida, presented a report exposing Florida schools with ties to these countries. As you know, this is an area of tremendous concern. The report was presented Wednesday at a state university system board of governors meeting. It showed 140 engagements with FIU, FSU, UF, and USF. The agreements are with China, Russia, and Venezuela. Only 16 of them spread throughout the four schools remain active. Some included agreements for lab materials, technology, and payment with the countries of concern. But Norton says there are no concerns about national safety. Of the agreements that remain intact at present, um, we don't have any concerns relative to loss of IP or security reasons. Despite this, they are working to eliminate the ties. USF has reported that it sent termination notices for all remaining agreements. Chris Young, WMNF News. Florida has agreed to pay $725,000 in legal fees and costs for businesses that successfully challenged part of a 2022 law that Governor Ron DeSantis dubbed the Stop Woke Act. The underlying lawsuit involved a challenge to part of the law that placed restrictions on addressing race-related issues in workplace training. In 2022, Chief U.S. District Judge Mark Walker issued a preliminary injunction against the restrictions on free speech grounds. His decision was upheld by the Court of Appeals in March. On Tuesday, Walker issued an order directing the parties to comply with the settlement. In weather, it's going to be sunny, breezy, and cool with highs in the upper 60s today. Lows tonight will be in the upper 40s. And Friday is going to be sunny and dry with a high of 67. I'm Lisa Marzilli with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.